What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Super Mario Bros. 3. In the last part, we, uh, did World 5. Not much of a problem. We didn't really have much of a problem on Roy. This part, we're gonna do World 6, which is a candidate for my least favorite world in the game. My overall least- World 6 and 7 are, like, my least favorite worlds in the whole game, even worse than World 8. Because, like, World 6 goes on forever, in my opinion, and not only that, like, World 7 is also a step up in difficulty, because, like, uh... Here's another thing I don't really like about Super Mario Bros. 3, and the same can be said for a lot of NES-era games. A lot of NES-era games are short, but, like, also, like, insanely hard simultaneously, so you basically get your money's worth. Like, I was never able to beat Castlevania 1 until COVID happened and lockdown happened. I was finally able to beat Castlevania 1. A lot of NES era games are short, but, like, they jack up the difficulty because, like, no, because, like, other than, like, Zelda, there weren't really much of a save feature. This is the one-ups when I already have 99 lives. I've been struggling to get that all played through. Anyway, so, auto, uh, fucking auto-scroller. Though, uh, we are approaching the end. I think I've been recording for maybe an hour, 20 minutes. Yeah, that sounds about right. I've been recording for about an hour, 20 minutes. So maybe it'll take two hours. Uh, yeah, Mario 3 can be beaten in like two or three hours. Three hours max. It looks like this is going to be a seven-part, like, video, a seven-part playthrough. I don't like filler content, because, like, I get, I am, I'm getting to get some more Pokemon Yellow recorded. I'm going to continue that playthrough, it's just I wanted to focus on finishing Majora's Mask, I don't really like focusing on multiple playthroughs. Because I do that in my own time, I just play through games and find out which ones make potential playthroughs. I'm actually preparing my next big playthrough, like, uh, for after I get done with Pokemon Yellow, I just finished that game, the practice run. I'm not going to reveal what game it is because I don't like to be kind of a spoiler. We get, more st we get three stars again. Doesn't matter, man. We already have 99 lives, and this isn't the GBA version, but there's more than 99 lives. I think the kind of the GBA version is, uh, I want to say it's, a. Uh, I want to say it's like 255. I get a puny little mushroom. I'm just gonna... Do I have any stars? I have one star. I get a hammer. Which, uh... whoop de do. There isn't really much we can do with hammers at this point in the game. You can get that... You, get, you actually use that hammer to get a to get to the pipe, and, uh, I guess the game is kind of like if you get a game over. Uh, let's just use a flower, because I'm just gonna kill that Koopa Troopa's ass. So, yeah. Alright, this- Another thing I don't like about this world is ice mechanics. I don't really like ice mechanics in any game, but like 2D Mario, I don't like it at all. Like, uh, yeah, there's a lot of ice levels, and like, there's some, there'll be some areas where you freeze ice with a fire flower, and you kind of have to duck. Uh, hey, at least we got a second try, as long as we use a flower. Now it's fortress time. And we use a flower. They, they kind of tease you with this flower. Like, you cannot get that power up without falling in the lava. So I just don't know why they did that. Unless you can get that power up, and there's just a way I don't know of. Yeah, I, I like to wait till that uh, candle thing goes. I don't know what they're called, though. 
Because there is a legit power-up right here. And there's another legit power-up, except we don't quite need it. Oh, now we need it. I shouldn't open my big fat mouth at times. Anyways, we're just gonna lure Boom Boom here and just instant kill him. Thankfully, we're not gonna get an embarrassing fight like the one in World 4. I'm really on about the one in World 4 because I don't normally see Boom Boom last that long. And he almost killed me. Uh, I, I don't find it worth it to go slot. Can we get another one? Uh, two smiley faces, at least. I am not looking forward to stage five, six, five. Because, like, stage six, five is a very infamous level for those that have played this game. And I will say, we will, I will explain my side of it when I, we get to that level. Can we actually, uh... We get a star. Now, uh, if you beat 6-5, it's a- it's- this is an infamous level because, uh... You have to fly in the air while holding the one Koopa shell and then break all the blocks that are up there. And it's like... It's like, what am I trying to say? It's like, um, I have ran, when I was a kid, I ran the clock out like several times trying to figure out how to beat that level. I think I actually, I actually like when I played the GBA port, I legit got stuck in that level for a long period of time. Now I'm just going to beat it instantly right here. Cause you have to go up here and then like there are these enemies that kill us. So you have to fly with the Koopa shell. There are probably, there are definitely a lot of people that play the stage and like, uh, they just, they ran the clock out trying to beat it. Cause they get a mushroom right there. These guys are back now in your lives. Now, if you go into this, uh, to Toad House right here, there's an, in it's a guaranteed Hammer Brother suit. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to six six. And this is kind of a water level, but not quite. It's an underground water level, is what I'm trying to say. Because there are underwater sections. No, no, no. You have to dodge the cheap cheap. I know there's a flower up there. Except, uh, I get a power up anyway, but like... Unfortunately, this isn't the new Super Mario Brothers games or even Super Mario World. If you get a third stage power up small, you just go Big Mario. No! No. No. Good day to you, sir. Alright, good. I didn't die right at the very end. Oh, no! Okay, I get a flower. You don't see those very much. You, you normally just see the mushrooms or stars. And then flower cards. Those are the hardest to get all three in. We're, we're gonna take you to the flower. Just instant kill these hammers. They land on the, uh... Yeah. A star. The other thing is that if the Hammer Brothers spawns just right, yeah, you can get in and two Hammer Brother fights. Yeah, we get a cloud right there. Except, I don't know, like. I guess you, there's one use this hammer. Like, you're gonna skip to the fortress.
Okay, it's not going to happen again. We uh, we get lives. We have like already in our lives. We get a mix mat. We get a mix of three. Hey, more auto scrolling. I think this one. Uh, no, it's like six ten. I believe is the one we get. To, it's the white out Toy house. We're not going to get any more of those because I don't know how to get. I don't, I've never heard of the one in world six. I don't. I flat out don't know how to get the one in world seven. There's no power up in that. No power up in that one either. That's they're usually not power power ups in uh yeah, there's the power up. They're usually not power ups in the standard bricks. I don't think you can how the Mario 1 manual just serves refers to bricks as toes that are in blocks. Like, is that the same case for future Mario games? Like, do they ever explain that? Anyway, these fire chumps are like one of my least favorite Mario enemies like of all time. Like they're pretty much annoying in like any game they're in. Especially Mario 64. Actually I think this was the one with the uh white toad house. So yeah, we didn't get that. So now it's time for time for the second fortress. I love how that block's a slightly different texture because of the NES's limitations. Yeah, it's the same thing with this block. It's the same thing with the. It's the same thing because of the NES's limited uh, mem limited uh, graphical memory. I will say there are some NES games that can look still look very solid on a CRT because like the thing like if, if you play like re-releases there are like those edges they're like those edges that's because like NES games were designed for CRTs they look phenomenal on CRTs and like um because like the CRTs get rid of the edges. Because like even though the NES only did like composite video, like it only it looks well on a, it looks great on a CRT. It's just uh, unless you get the console mod, because like maybe I'd get the console like modded so like I can do RGB output and like I can get it multi out modded, so like Super Nintendo and SD4 you can kind of get it like that. There's the classic joke. What's the H stand for? Hell. I've watched a lot of friggin' ABGN in my life. The Mario 3 review, like, that one's, like, the stuff of legend. Like, um, there's the possessed Mario 3 cartridge. There's, like, Super Mega Death Christ. Like, that, that video is, like, the stuff of legend. Go to stage nine. I think state it's stage ten. We can get hidden hammer brother suit. This one's a water level. This is kind of the second underground water level. I can't even imagine what it's like to. This water's probably it's it's a, it's an underground ice setting. Cause like in three D Mario, like icy water damages you. It should not be impossible to get this P switch. And again, it's a different color because of the limited textures in the NES. So we're gonna get that. It's, it's, I guess, kind of an underground level. It's an underground. It's kind of an underwater level. It's an underground underwater level, is what I'm saying. Or what I said before. Anyway, so, uh, 610, we're finally done, almost done with the, uh, now if you time one of these right, I, I, you need a specific setup, and you also need Fire Mario. You need kind of a specific setup, is what I'm saying. Because you kind of... 
You kind of need to get rid of these uh, things right here. Because I don't really show it properly. Yeah, you want to get those ice things and then uh, go back. I figured this out more recently, but uh... You get, um, and then you get this thing right here. And, uh, you kinda, yeah, and this right here is a guaranteed, is a Hammer Brother suit. Which, let's see how we do with the Hammer Brother suit. Now, uh, the Hammer Brother suit lets you throw hammers, and they can kill a lot of enemies you normally can't with other power-ups. Like, we instant killed that, uh, Power Goomba. Yeah, except, uh... And we, uh... Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, yes! I think we have a, I think we have, like, uh... We have... We actually have a million points. Not that points matter, because, like... The NES is kind of a transitional period where, like, points stopped mattering in video games. It's hard for the, like, one-ups you get out of them. Now, the other thing is that you can straight up insta-kill Bum Bum with the Hammer of the Suit. And with the Hammer of the Suit, you can also kill Booze. And I think that's the only way you can instant-kill them. We're going to... Yeah, you can straight up kill these, uh, Booze. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is how we do it. You can also kill these thwomps. You can kill a lot of fucking shit with the hammer of the suit. It's a very broken suit. It's just not very. Really, it's just hard to get not get hit in this game. Yep, we lost the hammer of the suit. If we had made the boom boom, we could have just strip insta kill him. And despite these platforms, we persevered against boom boom. I uh, I'm saying we persevered against boom boom. Boom Boom's like even easier in the newer Mario games. Like he reappeared in like Super Mario 3D Land, Super Mario 3D World. Those are good games though. Uh, more Mario 3D World. The king's turned into a seal or a sea lion. I think it's a seal. Yeah, I think it's a seal. Sea lions are uh, thinner, I think. Alright, here we go. Alright, I don't like those, uh, screw platforms. Like, they definitely... This is, uh, another step up in difficulty when it comes to airships, and the, uh... This is another Koopling that's named after a musician that's the boss here. It's Lemmy. Obviously named after Lemmy, the legendary frontman of Motorhead. I was actually... I was in high school, like, when Lemmy passed away, and, like... Lemmy was just one of those people you just expected to live forever, like... That man drank a bottle of Jack a day, even when he was approaching, like, 70 years old. Like, it's a miracle that he even made it to, like, that age. Anyway, so let me, uh... Let me's a little annoying. You have to avoid both him and the bouncing balls. You can make a b joke about that, except I don't feel like he's like... She kind of goes off as immature. That's world six. Two worlds left to go. Hmm. 
Ooh, thank heavens, I'm back to my- They just say the same thing. Unless you have a Tanuki suit, a frog suit, or a hammer suit, and you can just beat the Cubans with those. Greetings, I am well. Please retrieve the magic whistle hidden in the darkness at the end of the third world. We were already at world three. And you're thinking of the second world, princess, not the third world. I haven't closed the deal with health protector. We get a P Wang. Anyways, I'll leave off this part of Super Mario Bros. 3. So, uh, next time, Super Mario Bros. 3, we're gonna go Tiger World 7. See you guys next time. Thanks, folks. Bye.